In this video, I'll show you how to solve word problems involving the cosine law. This is question two. The question reads, from a point on a level ground between two power poles of the same height, cables are stretched to the top of each pole. One cable is 52.6 meters long, shown here. The other is 67.5 long. And the angle of intersection between the poles is 125 degrees. Find the distance between the two poles. Our goal is to find the distance from B to A, and it's labeled C. To answer this question effectively, you'll need to use the cosine law. To use the cosine law, we'll be following this formula. And the cosine law applies, especially when you have these two configurations. When you have side, side, side. In our case, we don't have side, side, side. We only have two sides. Or when you have side, angle, side. Notice, side and an angle and side. That being said, C is our target, that's what we're looking for, and we have big angle C at 125. So let's set up our equation. C squared is equal to 52.6, this is our A, plus 67.5, that's also squared, minus 2 times 52.6, times 67.5 cosine C at 125. Using our calculator, I'll do this all in one step. Maybe you can try the same thing. So 52.6 squared plus 67.5 squared, these two so far, minus 2 times 52.6 times 67.5 times cosine 125. Make sure your calculator is in degrees. If it's in radians, you're going to get the wrong answer. And you end up with 11,395. Now, don't write this number down. Keep it on your calculator. Because if you have a scientific calculator, you can now click this function, which is technically the next step to solve for C. You need to square with both sides. Then click answer, which gives you the previous value. And you end up with 106.75. C is equal to 106.75. Now given that this has three significant figures, this has three and this has three, your number should only have three as well. That being said, seven is greater than five, so this six becomes 107 meters. That right there represents your final answer to this question. And there you have it. That is how to solve word problems involving the cosine law.